Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale we are going to review the Financial Exchange Activity Log. Well, what the heck is that? <laughs> when you push your data over from QuickBooks Point of Sale to QuickBooks Accounting, uh, it doesn't just do it without letting you know what happened. You actually have an activity log in the Financial Center that you can take a look at and make sure that everything got sent appropriately. Or if you're having some sort of error with your exchange, this is the perfect place to look and see what the heck is going wrong with your financial exchange. Before we jump into taking a look at that, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions, bring up errors, or talk about any curiosity you want in QuickBooks Point of Sale. People such as myself and store owners who are using QuickBooks Point of Sale would be happy to answer your questions there. We're having some great dialogues. And if you're on YouTube today, hit subscribe down below. You get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos coming at you all the time. Okay, what I'm going to do quickly right now is just go ahead and create a bunch of stuff that will be sent over in the log. So, Tim uh, Snarfu. All right, so there I've created a customer. Here I'm going to make a receipt with cash. Save, save. Uh, what else can we do? We can create a new vendor. <clears throat> All right, something company. Okay, save. Uh, we are going to Create a receiving voucher. Of course, purchase orders are non-posting, so they don't get over to QuickBooks Accounting, by the way, in case you didn't know that. All right, so we're going to order something from that particular company we just created, uh, or we're going to receive it, actually. Um, yeah, that's probably it. I guess we could clock in and clock out as... An employee there we clocked in I don't know if this is gonna show up as a minute or not Samantha just happens to have no password all right we've done a number of things right so we're going to create we're gonna go ahead and update QuickBooks accounting this is going to push over all the data for all of the things that I just did normally this financial update or updating of QuickBooks accounting happens during your end of day process uh, a lot of people just do it there once a day. They have the check mark during their end of day, and so it happens. Uh, other people might be doing bills and stuff in QuickBooks Accounting in their back office, and so they might uh, want to go on the financial menu to update QuickBooks Desktop, just like we did to send it over at that point in time. Now I'm jumping on the financial menu into Financial Center, excuse me. And right here in the center, you can see review activity of previous exchanges. And so by clicking on this, I actually get a readout. This is today's date, and I've actually done three exchanges already today. And the first one, I apparently I haven't done an exchange in quite some time, so this one has the most stuff in it. Uh, we'll go through that in a second. The one that I just did, it actually... Uh, it, added the vendor something company it created receipt number 140 in QuickBooks accounting for 1199 and then it actually sent over the receiving voucher for two dollars and the reason why you are not seeing the customer that I created in here is because I have the exchange set up to do summary and I don't want to clog up the QuickBooks accounting file and so in a different video we show how you create uh, you tell it that this exchange should just be a summary of stuff and it should be only sent over customers who have an open balance and that's the best way because you don't want to send every single customer uh, QuickBooks Pro somewhere around 14,500 objects it decides hey the lists are full you're gonna have to upgrade to QuickBooks Enterprise now and so we don't want to clog it up with every single customer name so here you see the three uh, pieces that just got sent over. I'm going to click down here to the more extensive exchange that I did earlier. And this one actually um, is has a number of items that it's updating when I created different non, 
I'm sorry, created different items. And by the way, just so you can read this correctly, it's adding a non-inventory item into QuickBooks Accounting. This is actually an inventory item, but for QuickBooks Accounting to understand it, it creates it as a non-inventory item that it's not keeping track of. It's just using the item in order to record receipts and different stuff like that. Uh, this one apparently also sent over a tax code, um, sent over some customers who must have had some balances. And so all of this stuff you can see is an excellent way to take a look and make sure that all of your receipts are getting over. Once in a blue moon, you're going to have a receipt that comes up with this error called unbalanced payment, which can be rectified, but you can see exactly how to find it in QuickBooks Accounting by looking at this log. So all in all, looking at your log files is an excellent way to investigate and find out what's going on on the QuickBooks Accounting side and help you fix any errors or track down any document or receipt where you're like oh man I just pushed that over oh I I need to fix something with that and so you can fix it on the QuickBooks accounting side by tracking it down here in the activity log and um, yeah you can also print these out I guess is something I should mention I don't know if anybody would do that maybe they're highlighting on paper old school style but here it is this is the QuickBooks financial exchange activity log and if you have any comments, go ahead and leave those down below or questions. And if this helped you out in finding uh, everything that was pushed over to QuickBooks Accounting, go ahead and hit that like button down below because I love likes. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. I hope you have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.